Okay. I had a few video, a few uh, comments posted yesterday on my videos recently about my video on the HP Pavilion DV6809 WM and uh, Windows XP. I when I got this, I'm on it right now. I got this notebook in um, I think that was June or July of 08. Now it's October of 08. It came with Vista Home Premium Service Pack 1 32-bit. Uninstalled that, or I didn't uninstall it, I formatted it, and I put Ultimate 32 and then Ultimate 64, and I'm in Ultimate 64 right now. And for the most part, I like it. More about the 64-bit switch. I have uh, more videos about that if you look at my channel. Um, anyways, I tried to put, or actually, I had a quad boot of a Quinn boot actually, Vista Home Premium, no, Vista Ultimate 32, Ultimate 64, XP Home, XP Pro, and XP Media Center Edition. I spent the whole weekend installing Windows. I got a new notebook, I figured I'd try out a few things. So anyway, in every version of Windows XP, I was fine in Vista, both, both editions, or both bits, 32 and 64 bit Ultimate, it was fine there. But in all versions of Windows XP, Media Center 2005, Professional Service Pack 3, all of these are Service Pack 3, and Home Edition Service Pack 3, all of them, uh, I could not get the Wi-Fi to work, could not get a proper display driver, I could not found it, find a sound driver, or the SD, MS, Pro, MMC, XD5, M1 media card reader. Couldn't get any of that to work. If you go to HP's website, which I might as well do, then you're going to see, I, I think, last time I was there, they su they said they supported Windows XP. Or maybe maybe I'm wrong with that, I'm not sure. Let's go look it up. Anyways, don't run XP on the unit. It's more than powerful enough to, to uh, work with Windows Vista. I've got 4 gig of RAM in it, which Vista Ultimate 64 actually still only uses um, 3 gig, which is really annoying. But anyways, it's, it's, uh, it's, um, it, it's got more than enough RAM, more than enough hard drive, bus speed is fine. Okay, so here I am, the operating system supported, Windows Vista, Windows Vista 64-bit, Windows XP, Windows 2000 Pro, Windows 2000, and Windows 95. I don't know who would put Windows 95 on this laptop, but anyways, let's click on that. They probably don't have very many drivers. It looks like they only have one, <laughs> which is, I don't even know what this is, HP Access Control Panel List Update, I don't know. So if you click on Windows XP, you've got a net, okay, this has been updated. I don't, I don't, there's no audio. There's quick launch buttons, the wireless assistant, there's no wireless driver though. BIOS, some software, solution, HP update crap software. It's all junk, yeah. You can't get Wi-Fi. You, you can get the Wi-Fi utility, but you can't get the driver. So you've got to go make your own driver, edit the code from Vista, or I, I don't know. Go look up. Go look it up somewhere else online. I'm sure you could find it if you really, really your life depended on it. You could go hire some nerd to write the code for. It. But uh, keep Vista on it, regardless of the edition. Home Premium's good. Ultimate's good. 64-bit uh, versus 32-bit. I like 64-bit. It's a 64-bit processor, so you can run on that. But, again, more on that with my 64-bit video. Just don't downgrade to Windows XP. I don't think it's better. It's definitely not faster, and it doesn't look better. So, so I, I can't think of a reason to use Windows XP. Anyways, hope this helped you. Please comment, please subscribe. If you have any questions, send me an email. No problem. Thanks again for watching.